And now, regrettably, it is time for the flashback that manages to ruin every challenge I attempt at this game. That's right, it's the Tommy Sniper section. And of course it starts off with yet another four shooting section. Thank you so much, Tommy. Every freaking challenge this bozo and his stupid rifle managed to make me fail. The Tommy Sniper section. Freaking Tommy! It's always the Tommy Sniper section. Always! I hate you, Tommy. I hate you. That's it. I've had enough. Every freaking challenge I do, I always fail during the Tommy Sniper section. Every. Single. Time. But no more! Today, I will beat The Last of Us Part 2 sniper only. Just to spite Tommy. And for no other reason. Yeah, so because of spiteful and petty, I decided to finally do this challenge. That's right, every decision I make on this channel is done solely to get back at and spite someone else. So anyway, now that we have that established, let's go over the ground rules that I followed during this run. So obviously, since this is a rifle only challenge, I am only allowed to use my, you guessed it, rifle, and in Abby's case, the semi-automatic rifle. The use of all other weapons will be frowned upon. But if I run out of bullets, then I am allowed to kill the other enemies with my cold, dead hands. Or, you know, at least Switchblade. Bricks and bottles are also fine if I need them. And I decided to play the game on survivor mode, but I lowered the resources down to hard. Because in basically all of my other challenges, the game ends up never giving me any ammo and forcing me to relive my knife only challenge. And as fun as that challenge was, I think it's time for us to move on from it. It's not you, knife only challenge, it's me. Anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, let's hop into this thing. So Jesse and I made our way through town, just your average morning looking at the local clones. Meanwhile, Abby was off getting some beauty sleep. It's a personal choice to use steroids, but if you do, you should know the side effects. <sighs> now, since Abby doesn't get her rifle in the Jackson section, I'm just gonna skip past her areas. <laughs> Fortunately, Ellie does get her rifle, so I was able to sniper shot my way through the area with ease. After having not used my rifle for so long from doing these challenges, I honestly forgot how much of a punch this thing has. So anyway, Dean and I went off to the local library to go watch some YouTube. Let's say, hypothetically, I am a Barbie girl. Okay, let's even say I'm in a Barbie world. Right, so in this scenario, I would obviously know from personal experience that life in plastic is fantastic. Meanwhile, they look like you heard of us or something. Because they have. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So anyway, now that Joel is out of commission, and organs, we're off to Seattle. So I just ran past all the infected of the dome building because there's really no point in fighting them except for just losing all my ammo. And after all that, Dean and I decided to go rob a bank so I could finally have enough funds to open my pizzeria, my one true dream in life. But we ended up chickening out. Shut up, Dina! So because I only had one bullet entering the courthouse fight, I opted to just stealth kill the enemies. Even with the resources lowered down to hard, I still don't get anything from this game. So after picking up a bolt in the basement, I then proceeded to demolish the infected with minimal effort. So now that we have the gas for the gate, it's time to continue on our way. So still with only one bullet to my name, even though the resources are SUPPOSED to be lowered, I stabbed all the enemies in sight. And after the not so warm welcome into the hotel, Dee and I went up to our room only to find some bum sleeping outside our door. This place is definitely getting a one star in TripAdvisor. So because our room was disgusting and the hotel staff were less than helpful, Dee and I decided to go off for a nice tour of the city. That's it, we are never going on vacation again. And after wasting one of my only two bullets in the school fight, this is where I came up with the bright idea to turn on infinite ammo for all my other guns, load all of them except my rifle, and then maybe the game would actually give me more supplies so I could actually beat this challenge. Basically try and force the game into giving me the supplies that I need. Which then proved to be all in vain because I did not find any more ammo for the rest of the school fight. Am I gonna have to lower the resources difficulty down even lower? I swear. And after all that nonsense, I opted to just sneak my way through the town to conserve ammo. So one jump cut later and we're at the TV station, which has clearly seen better days. So after thinking that it would be a great idea to run at all the enemies at once and die instantly like the lint licking lunatic that I am, I then tried actually being sneaky, which worked out a lot better. Who would have guessed? And after realizing that no one is nice in Seattle and that Dina and I really should have just opted to go to Bermuda instead, we fled the TV station and plopped right into the sewer. 
gross. So naturally, I took the opportunity during the first fight to scour the area for supplies. Definitely not like there's anything more pressing happening at the moment that I should worry about. And then I literally just spent the second round running around in a circle for three minutes. Just the goofiest gameplay strategies for this run. The hell are you doing out here, friend? And then after failing at stealth like a boss, I saved Dina from a runner, only to immediately need Dina to save me from a runner. That's teamwork, everybody. And then I proceeded to run around in a circle with my gang of merry men chasing me, and then busted out of there. And after getting to enjoy a day in the life of a train commuter, Dina and I decided to go see a play. I hope they're playing Hamlet. Feels pretty on brand under the circumstances. But before I could go see the play, I got shot straight into a flashback to remind myself that I'm here to avenge my surrogate father's death and not here for a vacation. Well, heaven forbid I get to enjoy anything on my trip. I never get to go anywhere anymore. So I blasted my way through town, wasting a ton of ammo, and decided that now was the time to lower the resources difficulty down even more, because gosh darn it, I'm sick and tired of not getting any ammo in this game. This is why I turn on infinite ammo most of the time, guys. So I ran past the infected, blasted Boris, and then made my way into the next human encounter, to which I managed to speed run my way through the area faster than I think I have ever done before. However, the game glitched, and when I shot this one lady point blank in the face, she didn't die. In an attempt to save my remaining ammo, I just killed her with a bat. So after I happened upon Jesse, he and I decided to go take a leisurely drive through town. And now that that nightmare is over, it's time for the moment you have all been waiting for. The Tommy Sniper section. Ha! In your face! Suck it, loser. You're not getting me this time, Thomas! Ah, redemption. Feels so sweet. So, since I only had four bullets going into the hotel fight, I decided to just stealth kill the first round of infected so I could stand a chance against the bloater. And thank goodness I saved my ammo, because that bloater fight was a breeze. I am on fire today. So, I easily made my way through the stalker fights on day two. I don't know why. I was just killing it when I was recording this. And then I reached the first scar fight, where I got to show off my epic stealth skills practically undetected. My strategy for the second fight was to literally just sneak my way through the area at lightning speed. I don't know why stealth was working so well for me in this run, but hey, I'll take it. So now I've made it to the hospital, which is good because I am really injured and could definitely use some- Wait, 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 no, 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 no. I just wanted some painkillers, maybe some band-aids. What is wrong with you people? Dina was right, we should have went to Bermuda. So after a pretty crazy dream induced from my bad trip to the hospital- Tell me. What happened here? Flashback. We're off on another adventure, this time with Jesse. So since I wasted all my ammo at the hospital, I had to just do my knife-only strategy to get through the first WLF fight. Curse my need to kill everything in sight! And to save ammo, I speed stealth my way through the second WLF fight, as I began to seriously question where my master level sneaking skills were coming from, and why they haven't existed at other points where I've tried to play this video game. So after Jesse abandoned me, I had to steal a boat all by myself. And after massacring the enemies at the mall and missing two shots at point blank range, I got the boat and was on my way. So normally I would just sail past the last human encounter for Ellie, but I feel I should mention to anyone who wants to try this challenge, make sure before you hit the bloater fight, go up to the top of the crash train because you'll get a bunch of bullets there. Fortunately, I was all stocked up on rifle ammo, so I had no need to stop, but I just want to mention it in case anyone else wants to try this. The bloater fight was simple enough. I just shot it, ran away, and shot it again. Rinse and repeat until it died. I did run out of ammo, but fortunately, all I needed to do was hit the thing one more time, and then it went down. Way to go, me. So after my boat abandoned me, I had to swim to shore like a loser. And then I reached the aquarium. Freeze, you hudlums! So after I arrested Mel and Owen for the crimes of being butt-faced miscreants, I returned home to find Abby waiting for me. Hey, Abby, how's it going? Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! When steroids enter the body, they travel to various organs and muscles. Abby! <gasps> So, anywho, after some relaxing beauty sleep, though under the circumstances, maybe Abby could have slept in an extra hour, Mel, Manny, Alice, and I headed off on our great adventure. A great adventure which allowed me to actually shoot the scars on horseback who attacked us. For once, I wasn't being a hindrance to the team and just sitting there while we got shot at. But now they're at the Home Depot, that trend came to a smashing halt whilst I ran around the building like a maniac as Mel and Manny handled the infected. Sorry, guys. Though, I am being more helpful than usual, so actually, you should be thanking me. Just a thought. And since the game had actually given me ammo, I decided to take full advantage of that during the train yard fight. And then I just chilled out at the gas station whilst I waited for help. No sense in fighting when I could just drink a smoothie and relax, am I right? Yum. Yum.
So, after talking with Isaac about how Owen shot some dude named Danny and mentioned a bunch of other stuff that I don't really care about, something about a storm or whatever, I headed off on my Patsy Aquarium to find Owen. Sure, maybe he did kill Danny in cold blood, whoever Danny is. And sure, maybe Owen is turning into a serial killer. But hey, women fall in love with serial killers all the time, so why can't I? So I sneaked past the first scar fight, as I usually do, and I just sped my way past the second encounter, easy as pie. Then, after getting a good bonk on the head, I am plopped right into another lovely flashback, where people talk about murder and revenge and more murder. Fun! Of course, first, Owen has to try to peer pressure me into failing my challenge. But fortunately, I am strong-willed and can resist the urge to pursue my archery passion. If only Abby was able to resist some of her other urges. Meanwhile, back in the woods, Abby was forced to punch the stalkers and some random fat lady to oblivion after all my gear got stolen. Boo. Okay, so I still have no idea what this building is, but I am pretty sure that it's a restaurant. I think I read somewhere that this is supposed to be a restaurant, so that's what I'm gonna call it. Though, I still have no idea. And it turns out that hoarding all my ammo this whole time proved to be very useful, because this was probably the easiest time I've ever had in this area. Especially since all I had to do to kill a clicker was shoot it once in the leg, and then I could just insta-kill it. And then I would get a burst of energy that I could use to kill a runner. So far, I am loving this run. Though, I did run out of ammo, and that may prove to be a bit of a problem later, but for now, I'm still riding the high. So, after dropping off the random kids faster than I dropped my Wii when the Wii U came out, I ran past some stalkers, busted through the boat fight, and made my way to Owen. Unfortunately. No! With over 3 million Americans having used steroids, the desire to bulk up is strong. <laughs> so after almost dying in the train yard fight, I realized that the game was way more generous with ammo when you play as Abby, cause I guess screw you Ellie. So now that I have successfully saved the kids for the second time under 24 hours, it's time for Lev and I to head out so we can get some medical supplies to save Yara. Three times. I have had to save you kids three times today! And of course, since Owen cheated on his pregnant girlfriend with Abby, I certainly have some choice words for you, my friend. Jerk, ass, arrogant, inconsiderate, mindless, frat boy, low-life, butt-faced miscreant. So I just sprinted past the first infected fight like a champ, wasted a bunch of ammo needlessly in the scar fight, and then I ran through the roof fight like a maniac and lost a bunch of health in the process. So Lev and I went to pass our bridge crossing test, unfortunately we failed it, then I went to find the Wi-Fi password so I can open a safe. That's how Wi-Fi is supposed to work, right? And then I went to play a game of tag with some stalkers, but I don't think they know how the rules work. Then to save ammo for later, we all know what's coming, I just ran past the rest of the infected in the building. And now, at long last, we have finally made it to the hospital. Which is good timing since I am pretty injured from today's events and could really use some help with- Oh come on! I just wanted some aspirin! I have gotta find a new hospital. So after sprinting past the clickers, I have at last reached the Rat King fight. Oh great heavens! So after going through all of my ammo in an instant and realizing that the game was not going to give me any more, I decided to turn on infinite ammo so I could at least beat the thing fairly. Trust me, I scoured all over the place and I couldn't find any more ammo anywhere. But at least I was able to get him into his second phase with only the ammo the game had given me. Does this count as a failure? Eh, up to you, but I'm not gonna count it. But after I was done cheating, I just killed the mini Rat King normally. Though it did start running away after a shot of a couple of times. I think it knew who was boss. Oh yeah! Three million people currently use steroids to build muscle mass in the U.S. alone. So Lev steals a boat to go on some dumb side mission. I hate completionist gamers. So after I bumped into Manny on my hunt for Lev and got shot at a couple of times by Tommy and assaulted by a bunch of infected, we collectively decided that we should probably get out of here. Which I did, at least. And now that Yara and I have finally reached the island, we had to fiercely struggle in our fight to get through the scar encampments on our hunt for Lev. Or more accurately, I did! Cause all Yara proved to be good at during these fights was giving me vague directions on where to go next. Thanks Yara, very helpful! So after finding Lev sitting in a corner and crying for some reason, not sure why though, we headed off on our epic escape mission, which Yara failed out immediately. Thanks, Yara. Very helpful. The mall fight went decently enough, I just used my tried and true method of fight and flee. And my favorite method, called shoot everybody in the face. So after running right into one of the enemies at the restaurant fight, I just sprinted my way through the area and murdered anyone who walked in my way. Just like any rational person would do. It is a restaurant after all, Abby does need her protein. And Lev and I made our epic escape on horseback, where I was forced to fire my gun and fail my challenge again. 
Thanks a lot, Liv. Then, since I had 18 rounds of ammo and this was the last Abby fight with my supplies, I just went to town on all the enemies in the area. Ah, I love being stocked up on ammo. And because I once again lost all my weapons, I opted to just beat the big scar dude to death with my sickle, which worked out pretty good. I did get hurt a little, though, but there is no way that I am going back to the hospital. I will just live with the pain. And after all of that, I went off to hang out with Ellie. It's been a hard day. Hey, Ellie, how's it going? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah, since I don't get my gun here either, we can just skip past this section. And this boring farm. So now that we're back as Ellie, it's time to go sniper shot some enemies. Well, after this part. I ran through this part. Then after Ellie had a spaz attack, died horribly, and on a second attempt was able to sneak through the first encounter, we got to the part where I was actually able to use my ammo. Yay! Well, not quite. First, I opted to axe people to death like a total loon. A strategy which was working pretty well for me in this run. But I did end up using my ammo in the second fight, which went pretty good. Even though I did think I was kind of toast a few times here and there. I even managed to survive running out straight into a bunch of guys and even ran right past a dude with a shotgun like it was nothing. Later, losers! So since I was having kind of a rough day, I decided that the best thing to do was take a nice walk on the veranda, take a stroll on the beach, and knife Abby to death. You see, this is a proper vacation. Shame Dina had to miss it. Anyway guys, was it possible to beat The Last of Us Part 2 rifle only? No. But you know what was? The Tommy Sniper section, baby! Oh yeah! That's right! Suck it, Tommy! You shaggy-haired hillbilly! I win! Woo! Okay, that's it.